Hey, look what just came in. It's the Rocket 88 deleting tool. So it just, just came in. So I want to go ahead and get ready to delid the 8700K. So I've also have the Thermal Grizzly uh, conductor nut and I have some silicone glue that I purchased from Amazon and I got these blades as well from Amazon. It's just a little plastic blade to help scrape off some of the stuff and I've had these uh, CPU cleaners here for a while so they are to clean uh, cleaning kits so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble well not really disassemble the PC but I'm gonna take out the processor out of the computer and then we'll be back we'll delete it and see how it goes hopefully I won't brick it All right, let's delid this. It's all the way back. Here we go, moment of truth. All right, okay. the famous snap. Took longer to screw it in. All right, let's take a look underneath. There she is. Huh, it doesn't look like as much as I've seen other videos as far as the, the Tim is concerned. Well, that's fine. So let's clean this up. There we go. Pretty. It's actually coming off a lot easier than, than I thought it would. Just a 
see what the uh, rocket system can do. Please don't touch Wow, that comes out quick. Barely touched it. Luckily, I think I got good result there. Looks good for the IHS. If you're wondering what this is, this is just for my eye drops, just a little disposable plastic eye dropper. So where is that?
like I said, I'm only going to do the flats. Dot goes with the dot. And I just got some black stuff on it, but it's okay. Okay. Blade that I have, and you'll see why in a second. Just give it more pressure. Let it sit for a half an hour and hopefully put it back in and hopefully everything will be all right. We'll check back in later. All right, guys, moment of truth. I just installed the CPU back in. Let's see if it works. Oof. So it detected as a new CPU, but uh, everything looks good. Uh, first thing I notice is I know that's just boot up temperature, but man. That seems like a good uh, good deal right now. So let's go to tools, overclocking profile, and five dot and oh, number two. All right. Oops. What did I do? Number lock not on. Number two. Other profile. All right. We're back. So earlier today, um, I ran a stress test uh, from the uh, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility uh, at the same settings that I'm at right now. And the maximum that it said was uh, 79 degrees at 5.0. And then the average was 57. And then I also had hardware monitor as well. And it said the highest was 82. So let's see what it does now. Running the same uh, test. So there we go. Let's move this to the side. CPU stress test. Let's go for 10 minutes like I did earlier. Start 
testing. All right, bring up hardware monitor. Oh, real quick, uh, earlier the test that I did was at 22 degrees Celsius in the room. And according to, well, let's see if you can see that. It's 22 in here right now. So same uh, room temperature as earlier test. Obviously, that's probably not the most accurate thing. So, you know, say la vie. Uh, we're seven minutes in. Or I'm sorry, seven minutes remaining and still 64 here. And let's see what this says. And the max here has been 63. All right, it just finished. So if we look at the max temperature and hardware monitor, it was 66, which before we pull up the the uh, picture it was 82 so that's about a 16 degree difference and then on the Intel utility the uh, recent max was 67 and before let's go back to the picture it was 79 so um, not bad at all. So I guess I'm there between the 13 to 16 range, depending on what utility you measure it at, uh, difference going to uh, liquid metal. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know it was a long video, but I uh, just wanted to show you it's really not that hard if I can do it. It's not that hard. I'll leave the links uh, to my computer build below. It does help if you guys, you know, click on the links and go to Amazon and all that good stuff. So uh, it does help me. So I do appreciate it, especially if I would have bricked this. Oh, that would have been horrible. So I do appreciate the support. Thank you. Take care. See ya.